Hey guys, this is MKDA711. Um, I just wanted to make this very special video for um, Christmas and I just want to have a little talk about this year and what happened to me. Yeah, uh, first off, um, Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you have a very good Christmas this year. Um, Besides that, I just want to thank you all for supporting my content uh, at my drawings, at my animation, and even other stuff that I do. Now, in this video, I just want to talk about what happened to me as a content creator and personally this year and what I think of this year. So the first thing, what happened to me as a content creator? Um, first and the most simple one um, I drew a lot and I think I improved which proud of that and yeah <laughs> there's nothing much to say about that improvement the next thing is I did a lot of animation especially for reanimated projects um, I think I made for Spongebob, Chargeman Can, uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle uh, but I mostly did for Spongebob, because I did two of them. I even made a drawing for Spongebob Squarepants movie reanimated. I just cannot wait to see it finish. The best animation that I think I made this year is at Sonic's 30th anniversary, which I didn't expect that to be very popular for my YouTube channel, because it got thousands of views which I'm very thankful, it's just crazy and because of that I got a lot of subscribers which again thank you very much now I just want to say fun facts about it about my uh, process of it um, the first thing I want to talk is how long it took me to do that well it's kind of funny actually because I started uh, the whole thing from June 22nd to June 23rd, which means one day. And I think I mostly did at night before I went to sleep, which, yeah, it took me only one day. So I had the whole thing for one day, from drawing the background, the first background, to finished animation. And it's 30 seconds long. Sure. The last part is just the title card saying happy birthday Sonic, uh, but the most of the time it's just animation. Another fun fact about it is most of the time Robotnik is in the video um, and Sonic and Tails have only like what 3 seconds and such. Um, yeah, so it's more like Eggman's birthday which someone even commented and said that. And it's quite funny, but I get it. Um, I, I don't have a reason for that, but I guess my reason is because I like Dr. Robotnik in this show, not only in design, but his personality as well. I guess that's why I mostly animated the Robotnik more than Sonic, which is kind of funny. And also, right now, I make animation for TikTok, which I also have. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead. Uh, it's the same name, so you can easily find me. Um, I made like 3 or 4 animation. I hope I can make some more, because procrastination is getting me. Now, besides drawing and animating, I also did some documentary videos. Now, the first thing is I did research on two lost medias uh, the first is a lost game called Bubsy Free No More Mr. Nice Guy I'm not sure if it even exists I mean I don't think I did much research but that's how much information I could get and no updates for that the other lost media that I did is lost Slovene movie or more of a short animation called Trickster Pirates or Zvitorepets Gusari which I'm very proud of. I like the editing and obviously research is the first thing that's important and I think I did a good job on that. So um, what inspired me to make lost media videos is 
a guy called Blame It On George, which I think some of you know this guy. In my opinion, he's a really good YouTuber. I love, I love, I love his content. I love how he makes videos. I love how he talks about it. He's just really good at researching and making videos, especially on editing. It's really good. That's the guy who inspired me to make videos like this. And I recommend you to watch this guy as well. <laughs> now there's a little update I want to talk about for Trickster Pirates. So yeah, the update about it is, first off, no responses. Uh, didn't get any response from any person from email. So yeah, there's not much to talk about that. Now what I want to talk about is an interesting fact which I didn't expect that. Okay, so it started when I post about it on Game Jolt, and what I didn't expect is to get a conversation in there because most of the time when I post there, nothing happens, no replies or whatever. But then some guy, which I figured out it was one of my subscribers, and I think I saw him on Discord, uh, Bosnian <laughs> Pooper. I, I don't think that's what that's what he had before, he probably changed it, um, he told me, um, it's a good video, but I found some more information, and apparently, they played this in 2020, and I, I was like, wait, what, how, and so he gave me, showed me a screenshot, and it showed a bunch of dates, and, you know, when it aired, this particular movie, and I was like, how? How did this happen? I mean, first off, this is not of this doesn't this doesn't look official. It's from tvprofile.com and it doesn't look legit, you know. I was like skeptical. I was like, you sure this is legit? So yeah, I went to RTV Slovenia, their official website, and uh, in one of the sites there is a bunch of schedules uh, for for every program that's got that it's gonna be aired. And I looked on every date that was on tvprofile.com and I was shocked to find out that all of the all of them was true. All of the dates that's on tvprofile.com is correct. I checked twice and it's true. They played this after 2016, which sure it didn't air much, but it still aired, you know, it still aired. Uh, so it didn't just play two times in 2016, they also played it two times in 2017, two times in 2018, one time in 2020, and wouldn't you believe it, they actually played this movie this year, 2021, on October 22nd. This was on Friday, when I was at school, and they played this at 10am or something, and... I was surprised because I never heard of because okay I don't watch TV as much so I have no I had no idea that they actually play this while I was researching I even asked on reddit on r slash Slovenia I asked them do any of you remember this show has any of you watched it and yeah two of them said yes but most people said no no one knows and asked me if there's a way to find it and I was like no there's no way but yeah apparently they played this more than I initially thought like one two three four six times so together all of it eight times on TV and two times at the cinema um the next thing is I made a documentary called the art of Deco pictures which as you can imagine, I talk about Dingo Pictures and how they have an interesting art style and such. Now the reason I made this video is because I saw this one blog, I'm not sure who is it, but this person made blogs about Dingo Pictures, like why it has an interesting art style and I was like, what if I make that? What if I do that as well? So. Yeah, that's what inspired me to make this uh, documentary. Um, I think I made a pretty good video. I think the editing is really good and one of the best videos I did this year besides 
trickster pirates. <laughs> oh god, sorry. Um, I also th thankful for um for voice actors in this video in my video because um I really like their their job. They're from CVN Dubbing Studios, which I'm also in. Um, I even uh, had an interview for the first time. It was interesting. It, I never had that before, so I was a bit nervous about it. So a day before I had an interview, I asked the the guy who asked me, before you ask me anything tomorrow, can you give me questions so I can write an answer so I don't make awkward answers or make it awkward. So he gave me questions and okay, I didn't wrote sentences or whatever. I just wrote like keys or whatever and I made myself uh, sentences. So it sounded natural, you know. So that's about it. Um, if you want to see it, go ahead. Um, it was pretty interesting once again. So yeah. <laughs> And the last thing I want to talk about is Finzi series. Um, I made two books uh, about Finzi's adventures. Um, I think I'm proud of them, cause like I think stories that I wrote are interesting. I don't think I'm a really good writer, but I think I made some interesting stories. Um, it's about Finzi, his friends. Uh, have an adventure on the island called Semberland and they do a bunch of interesting journeys uh, for example they uh, look around the island and they have interesting um, stories you know and they even have an encounter from the sky um, so yeah if you want to read them um, go ahead anyways that's about it now, what happened to me personally? Well, the first thing I would say is um, I got more sociable in high school because before I wasn't as much sociable as right now. I was more an introvert. I'm still an introvert, but not as much as before, I'd say. Um, I got lots of good friends. They're very, f they're funny um, and supportive, you know, very nice people. Again, I really love my friends. They're very nice to me, you know. This August, um, my, my family got a cat. Um, we call him Tiger or Tiger, <laughs> more in English. Um, I really love my cat, or I should, should I say our cat. Um, I really love him. He's very nice playable and very feisty he likes to bite <laughs> a lot but in a friendly way he's not too you know dangerous I don't know how to say better but he's really friendly uh, he's very helpful with um, with me because okay sometimes I have a stress about school and I sometimes get a little angry so i just go find a cat my cat and i go pet him you know and hug him and just pet him a lot and i think that helps me quite a lot i'm just happy that i have a cat like it's been two years since i had a we me and my family had a last cat and then after that we never got a cat until one of my mom's co-workers asked my mommy if they if we want a cat and we we got it and I'm very happy that we got a new cat. Other than that, I uh, nothing much. Um, I'm at the second year of high school. I don't like school as you would probably be shocked right now like wow, you hate high school? Me too. Wow. <laughs> um Dude, this month, December, December, <laughs> um, we had so many tests, so much, and we even had an essay, and just a lot of stuff in December, which I'm a little, a little angry because, like, this is December, right, and it's supposed to be 
a Christmas month, but it was more like essay and a lot of tests <laughs> month. But I guess I understand because because the school system, whatever. But I still think that it's a bit not fair. I mean, yeah, I know it's it's just the second year, but you know, still quite a lot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, about it. The last question I want to talk about in this video is what I think of this year. Now, I think for me, it was like better than 2020. I mean, uh, when I when I attended the first year of high school, we were mostly in quarantine. I mean, it was crazy. One week of school and then quarantine all the time. Just months and months. I mean, okay, sometimes we went in school, but <laughs> I more remember in quarantine more than in school. A lot of quarantine last year, but the second year of high school, it's now a lot better because when someone gets COVID and we go to quarantine, it's only 10 days. And also, we got a vaccine uh, against COVID-19 which I think it's great. Everybody will get healed against COVID. So I just hope that next year COVID will end, but I don't think it will, but I just wish and I hope this will end. In general, better next year, because sure, 2021, it was not a good year for everyone, uh, but I think that it's better this year than 2020. And the last wish I have for the next year is for YouTube to bring dislikes back. Like, please bring us back. This, why did you take dislikes down? What are you going to take down? Comments as well? Please. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, again, Merry Christmas. And I wish you a good year. And I hope next year it gets better and better. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.